Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Amy Dupont. Mike has tonight off. The village of Viola will spend $3 million to address floodplain issues. The USDA investment is critical for that community. In the last 14 years, Viola has flooded seven times. News 8 Now as Emily Haugen explains what the funding means for the village and what's happening next. Always used to be if, if we had a flood, and now the talk is when we have a flood. When the Kickapoo River flooded in 2018, the village of Viola was underwater. It's had a major impact on people, not only financially, I think stress and emotional levels and everything that ha took part and happened with the flood. So. But the losses brought this small community together. Taking care of their neighbors, friends and relatives, um, you know, it's just amazing how the, the small town comes together in those times like that. This community cares, but that support doesn't cover the costs of repairing flood damage. When you're working at a, a tax uh, levy of 83,000 for the village, otherwise you can't, uh, you couldn't come up with enough money to even start into a project like this. With multiple buildings damaged and no chance flooding will ever let up, Viola was in a pinch. So village leaders turned to the federal government for help. It's taken a lot of work and a lot of concern by the citizens wanting to make sure Viola is sustainable and going to continue on. Rural USDA is chipping in to help move homes and businesses out of the floodplain and expand the village. When you have the federal government through USDA Rural Development and these local communities partner, you can do so much more and that just benefits everyone. Now, they're breaking ground on a new road outside of the floodplain. A glimmer of hope for a rural village devastated by flooding. Rural Development Director Julie Lassa calls it a worthy investment. That really helps lift the economy of that area, the state, and the nation as a whole. In Viola, Emily Haugen, News 8 Now. That funding, including grants and loans from the USDA, will be used to move buildings out of the floodplain, repair sewer systems, and install new roads and wells in the resettlement zones. Work will take place over the next two years.